Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today for the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, we are going to be examining the wonderfully simple yet incredible invisibilistic powers of the Suke Suke no Mi. The Suke Suke no Mi is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to turn themselves as well as anything they happen to be touching invisible. It was eaten by Absalom and yes manga readers I will be going into certain spoilers but for anime only watchers don't worry I'll warn you before that occurs. Whatever the case this fruit was first put on display for our adoring eyes during the thriller bark arc. This fruit takes its name directly from the Japanese word suke, meaning to be transparent. However, etymologically, there's a bit more to it than that, as the word suke suke specifically can mean see through or sheer, and is often used to describe clothing. Although the name of the fruit may also be a slight nod to the ever pervy nature of its user by being a play on the word sukabe, meaning lewdness or lewd person, which fits Absalom very nicely, as well as Sanji, who held a dream of one day consuming this fruit so that he could engage in his own pervy behavior. But we're not quite done yet, because it's also worth noting that suke is an anagram of kesu, a word that means to race, in this case possibly referring to the user's appearance. And with all of that beautiful Japanese in mind, what it all culminates in English for both Viz and Funimation is the very simple clear clear fruit. Now this is quite probably the simplest devil fruit we have ever examined within this encyclopedia. The user gains access to invisibility, as well as being able to turn whatever they're touching invisible. There really is nothing more to it than that. The only thing I suppose we should really define a bit better are the limitations of being able to turn other things invisible. And while the full extent of the powers are currently unknown, they have been shown to be at least capable of turning the entirety of a small ship invisible. But there is a strict caveat that these objects or individuals must be touching the user of the Suke Suke no Mi. And as soon as contact is lost, they revert to their rather exposed world of visibility Invisibility once more. So invisibility is one of those classic fantasy powers that I imagine we've all wished we've had at some stage in our lives. Very good for being nice and sneaky because nobody expects invisibility even in the One Piece world. But that isn't to say that invisibility is all it's cracked up to be. And I feel like the greater applications I've seen of it are always in conjunction with some other power. I mean take your classical Motoko Kusanagi from Ghost in the Shell. She has access to some degree of invisibility but it would be pretty worthless without her greater skill set of espionage and combat. But at the same time turning invisible seems to work out pretty well generally for the uh, less skilled protagonist. And I guess I'm thinking there is something along the lines of Harry Potter. So it really does come down to its situational use, but what I'm getting at is that you're not going to gain crazy power just from the mere act of consuming the Suke Suke no Mi. It's going to take very strategic use to make the most of it. And now with that in mind, it needs to be noted that this fruit is also countered relatively easily via the act of becoming physically involved with pretty much any substance. Now what I mean by that is if it were raining, for example, it would all of a sudden be quite obvious that there was an invisible person about because their outline would become visible even if they themselves aren't. And the same would apply for anything particularly malleable like snow, sand, or even steam. And you know what? Even standing perfectly still in a regular house may be dangerous because of the dust mites that would build up on the user's body and potentially form a shape in midair. Not to mention that being invisible does not prevent the user from making noise, which can render them detectable as well. And as for one final weakness, if the user is actually hit whilst in invisible mode, they will briefly become visible, presumably due to the lack of focus of the user, whilst dealing with the shock and pain of being struck. And that is very important because it highlights the fact that the user must always be consciously engaged in their invisible ability. They can't just activate it and leave it on as a passive quirk. In which case, it is entirely possible that this ability could take a mental toll if it were needed to be in effect for extended periods of time under particularly stressful circumstances. So a user of the Suke Suke no Mi requires meeting some strict conditions to make effective use of the fruit. And so we should now conveniently segue into Absalom's use of the fruit. And as previously stated, it's very much invoked to spy on uh, naked ladies, specifically naked Namis. Thankfully, this is not Absalom's only application of the fruit, and he does use it to his advantage in combat, which generally sees him turning invisible and then using that to position himself for an unexpected attack. Although he does sometimes become a bit more tricksy, deciding to conceal bazookas with his invisibility powers, taking an opponent by surprise when firing them. Which is intriguing because the ammunition fired remains invisible actually, thus throwing the whole needing to be in contact with the user to be invisible idea into a bit of turmoil. But Absalom's final and arguably best use of the fruit came following his involvement in the Thriller Bark arc and turned to the path of investigative journalism, using his invisibility to acquire all sorts of scoops and big news. In fact, he was the one responsible for leaking the news about the alliance between Kid, Hawkins, and Apu, working under the not so creative alias of Absa. And I'm afraid it's here that we're going to have to put up a bit of a spoiler warning. Now this usually doesn't happen with the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, but it's very difficult to get the full picture of this fruit without discussing one particular topic. And that topic also happens to be a pretty massive spoiler for the events of the Wano arc. So if you've not reached that certain point and trust me, you'll know it when you're there. I'd very much recommend skipping to this point in the video. But for the rest of us, let us proceed. 
So this was strategically not mentioned in the beginning of the video so as not to spoil anime only fans, but the Suke Suke no Mi actually has a second user, being Shiryu of the Rain, one of the former head wardens and inmates of Impel Down and current member of the Blackbeard Pirates. Shiryu acquired the fruit after Absalom attempted to infiltrate Blackbeard's home territory, and whilst not entirely confirmed, it would seem that he was killed and the Blackbeard Pirates stole his ability. Whatever the case may be, Shiryu represents a whole new world of potential when it comes to the Suke Suke no Mi. I stated previously that invisibility is best used in combination with other amazing skills, and this man is here with those skills, ready to pay some bills. Shiryu's strength, speed, and proficiency in the art of swordplay are absolutely terrifying, but layering invisibility on top of that has given birth to a true monster, because Shiryu is not going to be subject to the minor weaknesses of the Suki Suki no Mi, such as making sound and being caught in some sort of substance. So via its new user, the potential of the Suki Suki no Mi is slowly being unraveled. Now as for the awakening of this fruit, I suspect it would be fairly simple, like the initial powers themselves. Either the user could gain the ability to turn things invisible without needing to touch them, or perhaps they'd be able to extend their powers to turn gigantic structures like buildings and such invisible, or maybe both. Either way, I don't see an awakening of this fruit providing us with anything particularly mind boggling. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming an invisible member. Thinking about it personally, I'd quite like this fruit because I suspect it would be very useful for introverts such as myself. I cannot tell you the amount of times I've wished I could just become invisible and walk out of a social situation rather than needing to slog through the minefield of people between me and the gateway to freedom. The Suke Suke no Mi is also one of the few devil fruits in the series where Oda himself has given some indication as to how he would make use of it. And his answer was, rather predictably, to spy on the women's baths. So I feel like we should all be very grateful that he doesn't have that fruit because I suspect he quit drawing One Piece to take up a full-time position as a professional pervert. Look, I probably say this a lot, but this fruit really is entirely about what you make of it. In the wrong hands, it could be an abysmal gimmicky ability, but with the right user, it could verge on being one of the most overpowered things we have ever seen, or in this case, not seen, I guess, particularly in combat. Invisibility is not to be underestimated, but it's also not to be hyped up too much because there are ways around it. And it's very, very easy for the user to make a mistake whilst visually shrouded that renders the whole charade pointless. With that said, I'd eat this fruit instantaneously just to escape social situations, so I don't know if I'm 100% the best person to be judging its true potential. And with that, we are going to commit the Suke Suke no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we are going to be concluding the Devil Fruits of Thriller Bark by examining another incredible power, this time held by Bartholomew Kuma, known as the Nikyu Nikyu no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if you'd like to see more videos like this but apply to other anime and manga series, then please do check out my second channel, New World Review, for all of your wider needs. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Suke Suke no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time. This fruit also comes with one huge, huge negative, being that its user will go on to be hunted down by a Super Saiyan Sanji. So, uh, yeah, good luck with that.